first thing you want to do is open Final Cut. So here we are in Final Cut and here is the timeline that we want to make a vertical video. So right now it's just 16 by 9, but we want to make it vertical. So first thing you're going to do is go up here to File, New, and then you're going to go over to Project, click it. Okay, so this is all you're going to do. You're going to name your project, so we'll name it Vertical Video. And then right here, you're going to click Custom. And this is where the magic happens. You're going to change the resolution to 1080 by 1350. Okay, everything else you leave the same and you press OK. Okay, so now as you can see, now we are working with a vertical project. Now what we're going to want to do is, because you notice the timeline is empty, so what we're going to have to do is go back to our project that was 16 by 9, copy, so I command C, and then go over to our new project that we created, vertical video, and paste all those clips in. So the first thing that you're going to notice is, okay, we have this vertical project, but there's these black bars on the top and the bottom. So how do we change that? So first, what you're going to want to go and do is go to the first clip in your timeline and you're going to want to come over here to the inspector and you are going to want to click on this little film strip icon. Okay, and then you're going to want to come into this transform menu. So what you're going to want to do is scale the video up until you get rid of those black bars. So let's see, looks like it's around 224 for us. Of course you can fine tune it, but for the sake of this video, let's call it 224. And then, but you also notice the other videos still have the black bars. So how do you make sure that these don't have the black bars? without having to do it manually. So what you're going to do is you're going to click this first clip right here that you already did the scaling on. You're going to Command C, copy, on a Mac. And then you're going to click the first clip and then shift click the last clip so that all your clips are selected. Or you could simply highlight them all like that. And here's the key thing, OK? So you're going to want to press Shift, Command V, which is going to pull up this dialog box. Now this is called the Paste Attributes dialog box. And what it's going to do is everything in this left-hand column that you check, it's going to paste all the attributes that were on that first clip onto all these other clips down here. So all we want to paste on these other clips is the fact that we scaled it up. So we're going to deselect everything that isn't scale. Um, don't mess with anything here. Just click Scale and then press Paste. Now what you'll notice is all our clips now don't have those black bars, just like this first one. So we're almost good to go. But what you're going to notice is, look at this clip right here. Uh, it's just mountains. Where did the couple go? And this clip right here, her face is a little off center. So you're going to realize that when you scale up your video f to export vertically on Instagram, your footage isn't going to be in the perfect spot. Super easy way to change this. So let's go to this clip right here. So we're going to click on it, go up here to the video inspector, go down to the transform menu. Not going to mess with the scale, but what we're going to change is this X position so that we can get the exact frame that we want. So we're going to drag it, just drag it up, and now we have the couple right in the frame and we're good to go. Now this is actually what I do a lot. So instead of just straight up scaling the footage, you're going to want to play with the X and Y axes so that you make sure your clips are perfectly composed for vertical video because it's different than horizontal. And what you can even do is you might have some leeway to even change the Y axis. But see, when we start to change it too much, you get the black bar. So normally I just adjust the X axis. So let's go, let's say I'd say that one's pretty good. You know, they're a little off center. So I'll just adjust them over just a tad. There we go. And this one's pretty bad. <laughs> She's like, her face is cut off. And we'll scale, let's bring it over. There we go. So we see more of her face. This one's pretty good, that one's pretty good they're all looking pretty good. 
So there you have it, it's really easy. So we did the project, adjusted that to the 18, 1080 by 1350, and then we adjusted the scale and then we adjusted the X and Y axis. So one final thing that I do want to mention is we're actually using our very own custom presets on this footage. So watch, if I click right here and we have our own LUTs right here and if I take it off and put it on, there are our LUTs. They're pretty much one click. If you guys are interested in grabbing our LUTs, there's gonna be something that pops up on the screen right now that you can be notified when they come out because uh, they're open and closed cart and they're coming out pretty soon. So that's everything that you do to get this vertical video. And then finally, what you're going to do is you're gonna export it. So what you wanna do is make sure that your timeline's clean and go File, Share. And what I usually like to do is do Apple Devices 1080p, click that, and then go over here to Settings. And see right here, this is where it got, kind of gets tricky because it defaults to 864 by 1080, but that's not what you want because if you remember, our project was 1080 by 1350. So you want to click this drop down and make sure you select the exact resolution that the project was at. And in our case, that's 1080 by 1350. Click that, press share, choose where you want to share it, whether it's on an external hard drive or on your desktop when you press share. Everything's done and then all you do is get that file and you upload it directly to Instagram and you are good to go. So that is how you create a vertical video in Final Cut and share it to Instagram. If this video was very helpful for you guys, Make sure that you like it as well as subscribe to our channel because we come out with a ton of helpful video content specifically related to weddings as well as anything else wedding filmmaking. So be sure to drop that like and I'll catch you guys in the next video.